On the world of Pariahs, otherwise known as Nakare-1011c, numerous species were bred and raised on this exoplanet for quite a few purposes. Many were brought to be food for the humans, or as hunting fodder, providing a service harder and harder to find in overpopulated Earth. However, bringing only wolves and bison and corn would not be enough to leave a sustainable environment. If a sustainable climate could be made on Pariahs, the owners of the planet would not have to constantly bring over new specimens across the stars. It would be much more cost-effective for the higher-ups if the world didn't go into ecological collapse as soon as the funds became tight. Because of this, many other species were seeded onto Pariahs as a means to create sustainable food webs in the Valid ecosystem. In this video, I wish to create as comprehensive of a list as I can make for all the species brought to the planet and left there to evolve on their own. For each species or clade, the Wikipedia article for them will be left in the description, as well as on the Discord server. This video is going to be a long one, so timestamps will be included for each major division in flora and fungi. From the very beginning, the first life brought upon Pariahs was microorganisms. Numerous species of algae, phytoplankton, zooplankton, bacteria, and viruses spread across the previously empty planet. Genetically modified algae were primarily used to pump up the oxygen levels in the atmosphere. Regardless, many microorganisms were brought either intentionally or unintentionally, kickstarting an environment habitable for macroscopic life. A. glauca, the white spruce, is a species of spruce native to the northern temperate and boreal forests in North America. The white spruce is a large evergreen conifer which normally grows to 15 to 30 meters, 50 to 100 feet tall, with a trunk diameter of up to 1 meter, 3 foot 3 inches. The bark is thin and scaly, flaking off in small circular plates 5 to 10 centimeters across. Pinus longeva, otherwise known as the bristlecone pine, is a medium-sized tree, reaching 5 to 15 meters, 16 to 49 feet tall, and with a trunk diameter of up to 2.5 to 3.6 meters, 8 to 12 feet. The leaves show the longest persistence of any plant, with some remaining green for 45 years. These ancient trees have a gnarled and stunted appearance, especially those found at high altitudes, and have a reddish-brown bark with deep fissures. As the tree ages, much of its vascular cambium layer may die. Very old specimens, often only a narrow strip of living tissue connects the roots to a handful of live branches. Sequoia sempervirens is an evergreen, long-lived, monoecious tree living 1200 to 2200 years or more. The species includes the tallest living trees on Earth, reaching up to 115.9 meters, 380 feet in height without the roots, and up to 8.9 meters, 25 feet in diameter at breast height. These trees are also among the oldest living things on Earth. Macrocystis is a monospecific genus of kelp, which is a large brown algae. This genus contains the largest of all the Phaeophyceae, stripes of fronds within a whole individual undergo senescence, where each frond may persist for approximately 100 days. The genus is found widely in subtropical, temperate, and subarctic oceans. Macrocystis is often a major component of temperate kelp forests. Neriocystis is a monotypic genus of subtitled kelp containing the species Neriocystis lutkiana. This annual kelp grows on rock from the low intertidal to subtidal zones. It prefers semi-exposed habitats or high current areas. Offshore beds can persist for one to many years, usually in deeper water. Dixonia antarctica can grow to 15 meters, 49 feet in height, but more typically grow to about 4.5 to 5 meters, 15 to 16 feet, and consist of an erect rhizome forming a trunk. They are very hairy at the base of the stripe adjoining the trunk and on the crown. The large, dark green, roughly textured fronds spread in a canopy of 2 to 6 meters, about 6 to 19 feet in diameter. Hylocomium splendus, otherwise known as glittering wood moss, is generally olive green, yellowish, or reddish green in color, with reddish stems and branches. These often form branches up to 20 centimeters long, with current year's growth starting from near the middle of the previous year's branch. This produces feathery fronds and steps, and it is possible to estimate the age of a plant by counting the steps, with a new level being produced each year. Leucobrium glaucum, otherwise known as pincushion moss, is a common, large, tall, tough-forming moss. It can be found in many temperate climates across the world, but are known by gardeners as an easily adaptable species of moss. It can survive well in tropical environments as well as it can in the temperate ones, making it a very well-suited species for spreading across pariahs. Pelotaxis hainonensis, the hainon plum yew, 
grows in warmer temperate and subtropical rainforest habitats. When mature, it is a tree 10 to 20 meters, 32 to 64 feet tall. It is sometimes a dominant species in the local ecosystem. Ginkgo bilboa, otherwise known as just the ginkgo, is the last living species in the order Ginkgoales, which first appeared over 290 million years ago. Fossils very similar to the living species belonging to the genus Ginkgo extend back to the Middle Jurassic, approximately 170 million years ago. The species is not only the sole member of its genus or even family. Ginkgo trees are so distinct from other plant life, they belong in their own phylum. Metasequoia glypter cerboides is a fast-growing deciduous conifer. Metasequoia is closely related to sequoia and belongs in the redwoods clade. Although the shortest of the redwoods, it can grow to 120 feet or 37 meters in height. The bark and foliage are similar to sequoia and other specimens and form wide buttresses in the lower trunk. Metasequoia was actually an accident when brought over to Piraeus, as Tex intended to only bring the sequoia and not its closely related shorter cousin. Moringa olifera is a fast-growing, drought-resistant tree of the family Moringaceae. It is widely cultivated for its young seed pods and leaves, used as vegetables and for traditional herbal medicine. It is also used for water purification. The bark has a whitish-gray color and is surrounded by thick cork. Young shoots have purplish or greenish-white, hairy bark. Sabal minor, commonly known as the dwarf palmetto, is a small species of palm. S minor grows up to 3 meters or 10 feet in height, with the trunk up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. It is also one of the most frost and cold tolerant among North American palms. Mesa sylvatica, otherwise known as the black gum tree, is found in a variety of upland and wetland habitats in its extensive range. Its flowers are an important source of honey and its fruits are important to many birds and mammals. Its hollow trunks provide nesting or denning opportunities for bees and various mammals. It is the longest living non-clonal flowering plant in eastern North America, capable of attaining ages of over 650 years. Acer saccharum, or the sugar maple, is a species of flowering plant in the soapberry family. Sugar maple is best known for being the primary source of maple syrup and for its highly colored fall foliage. The sugar maple is an extremely important species to the ecology of many forests in the northern United States and Canada. Pure stands are common, and it is a major component of northern and midwestern U.S. hardwood forests. Populus tremuloides, otherwise known as the quaking aspen, is a deciduous tree native to cooler areas of North America, one of several species referred to by the common name of aspen. The trees have tall trunks, up to 25 meters, or 82 feet tall, with smooth pale bark, scarred with black stripes. The glossy green leaves, dull beneath, become golden to yellow in autumn. The species often propagates through its roots to form large clonal grooves originating from a shared root system. Clonal colonies of aspen trees can be absolutely massive, with pando being a clear example. Pando is a colony of aspen trees found in Utah, with every aspen tree in that forest determined to be a single male organism. Gladistia tricanthos, otherwise known as the honey locust, is commonly found in the moist soil of river valleys. Honey locust is highly adaptable to different environments and has been introduced worldwide as an aggressive, invasive species. They exhibit fast growth but live a medium lifespan of about 120 years. Quercus rubra, otherwise known as the northern red oak, is a deciduous tree that prefers temperate and colder climates. Northern red oak is easy to recognize by its bark which features ridges that appear to have shiny stripes down the center. A few other oaks have bark with this kind of appearance in the upper tree, but the northern red oak is the only tree with the striping all the way down the trunk. Prosopis glandulosa, commonly known as the honey mesquite, is a species of small to medium-sized thorny shrub. Prosopis glandulosa has rounded, big and floppy, drooping branches with feathery foliage and straight, paired spines on twigs. The tree normally reaches 20 to 30 feet, or 6.1 to 9.1 meters in height. Senegalia gregii, otherwise known as the cat claw acacia, gains this common name from the fact that the tree has numerous hooked prickles with the shape and size of a cat's claw, which tend to hook onto passersby. It is a large shrub or small tree growing 10 to 15 meters, 33 to 49 feet tall, 
with the trunk up to 20 to 30 centimeters, 7.9 to 11.8 inches in diameter. Apuntia coccinellifera is a species of cactus in the subfamily Apuntioidae. It is endemic to Mexico and is the most common species in Jamaica. It is a large, trunk-forming, segmented cactus that may grow 5 to 7 meters, 16 to 23 feet in height, with a crown of over 3 meters or 10 feet in diameter, and a trunk diameter of a meter, around 3 feet. Cladoides, or large pads, are green to blue-green, bearing few spines up to 2.5 centimeters or an inch. Chameacostus cuspidatus, common name Phyracostus or spiral flag, is a species of herbaceous plant in the family Castaceae. The leaves are spirally arranged around the stem, forming attractive arching clumps arising from underground rootstocks. The maximum height of these plants is about 2 feet, or 0.6 meters. The flowers are orange in color and are 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters in diameter. The species will flower during the warm months. Hadera, commonly called ivy or ivies, is a genus of 12 to 15 species of evergreen climbing or ground creeping woody plants. Multiple species of Hedera were brought to Piraeus, which includes but is not limited to Hedera helix, Hedera iberica, and Hedera hibernica. Bambusa is a large genus of clumping bamboos. Most species of bambusa are rather large, with numerous branches emerging from the nodes and one or two much larger than the rest. Multiple species of Bambusa were brought onto Pariaus, which includes but is not limited to Bambusa vulgaris and Bambusa blumiana. Aculara pomifera, otherwise known as the horse apple, is a small deciduous tree typically growing about 8 to 15 meters tall, or about 30 to 50 feet. The distinctive fruit, a multiple fruit, is roughly spherical, bumpy, 8 to 15 centimeters or 3 to 6 inches in diameter, and turns bright yellow green in the autumn season. Prunus umbellata, called the flatwoods plum, is a plum species native to the United States from Virginia, south of Florida, and west to Texas. Prunus umbellata can reach 6.1 meters in height with a 4.6 meter spread. P. umbellata trees can live up to 40 years and the fruits are made by humans into jellies and jams. Asclepius is a genus of herbaceous, perennial flowering plants known as milkweeds. Most species are toxic to humans and many other species, primarily due to the presence of cardinaloides. Although, as with many such plants, there are species that feed upon their leaves and from their nectar. Most notable are monarch butterflies, who use and require certain milkweeds as host plants for their larvae. Multiple species of Asclepius were brought to Pariaus, which includes but is not limited to Asclepius albicans, Cordifolia, and Incarnata. Dalex babylonica, otherwise known as the weeping willow, is a medium to large sized deciduous tree, growing up to 20 to 25 meters, 66 to 82 feet tall. It grows rapidly but has a short lifespan, between 40 and 75 years. Tillandsia fasciculata, otherwise known as the giant air plant, is an evergreen perennial flowering plant in the family Bromelaceae. Sometimes they are commonly known as air plants because of their natural propensity to cling to whatever surfaces are readily available. Telephone wires, tree branches, bark, bare rocks, etc. Their light seeds and silky parachute facilitate this spread. Most Tillandsia species are epiphytes, and that's to say, plants that grow in other plants instead of the ground. Lupinus texensis, otherwise known as the Texas lupine, is an annual flower which begins its life as a small, gravel-like seed. The seed has a hard seed coat that must be penetrated by wind, rain, and weather over the course of a few months, but sometimes several years. With other related species of lupines, also called blue bonnets, it is the state flower of Texas. Zostera marina is a flowering vascular plant species as one of many kinds of seagrass, with this species known primarily by the English name of eelgrass. This common name refers to the plant after breaking loose from the submerged wetland soil and drifting free with ocean currents and waves to a coast. It is a saline, soft sediment submerged plant native to marine environments on the coastlines of northern latitudes from subtropical to subpolar regions. The species is the most wide-ranging marine flowering plant in the northern hemisphere. Pisidonia oceanica, 
commonly known as Neptune grass or Mediterranean tapeweed, is a seagrass species that is endemic to the Mediterranean Sea. It forms large underwater meadows that are an important part of the ecosystem. Neptune grass is a flowering plant that lives in the dense meadows or along channels in the sands of the Mediterranean. It is found at depths from 1 to 35 meters, or 3.3 to 115 feet. Umbo nucifera, also known as Indian lotus, sacred lotus, or simply lotus, are adapted to grow in the floodplains of slow-moving rivers and delta areas. Stands of lotus drop hundreds of thousands of seeds every year to the bottom of the pond. While some sprout immediately, and most are eaten by wildlife, the remaining seeds can remain dormant for an extended period of time as the pond silts in and dries out. During flood conditions, sediments containing these seeds are broken open, and the dormant seeds rehydrate and begin a new lotus colony. Pontideria crassipes, also known as the water hyacinth, is a free-floating perennial aquatic plant, or hydrophyte, native to tropical and subtropical South America. With broad, thick, glossy, ovate leaves, water hyacinth may rise above the surface of the water as much as a meter or three feet in height. The leaves are 10 to 20 centimeters or 4 to 8 inches across on a stem, which is floating by means of buoyant bulb-like nodules at its base above the water surface. They have long, spongy, and bulbous stalks. The feathery, freely hanging roots are purple-black. Arundo is a genus of stout, perennial plants in the grass family. They grow to 3 to 6 meters tall, or 10 to 20 feet tall, occasionally to 10 meters, or 30 feet, with leaves 30 to 60 centimeters long and 3 to 6 centimeters broad. Multiple species of Arundo were brought to Piraeus, which includes but is not limited to Arundo donax and Arundo plinii. Tsamina tribola, otherwise known as the American pawpaw, among many regional names, is a small deciduous tree native to the eastern United States and Canada, producing a large yellowish green to brown fruit. The pawpaw is a clonal understory tree found in well-drained, deep, fertile bottomland and uh, in hilly upland habitat, with large, simple leaves. Pawpaw fruits are the largest edible fruit indigenous to the United States. Cucurbita pepo is a cultivated plant of the genus Cucurbita. It yields varieties of winter squash and pumpkin, but the most widespread varieties belong to the summer squash. It has been domesticated in the Americas for thousands of years. Due to their very genetic background, Members of the Cucurbita pepo vary widely in appearance, primarily in regard to their fruits. Their plants are typically 1 to 2.5 feet high, 2 to 3 feet wide, and have yellow flowers. Mission Fig is a popular variety of the edible fig, Ficus carica. The Mission Fig is a high quality fig variety. It produces both a briba and a main crop, and is considered an ever bearing variety when planted in the right climate. Black turtle bean is a small, shiny variety of the common bean, Phaseolus vulgaris, and is especially popular in Latin American cuisine. The common bean is a highly variable species with a long history. Bush varieties form erect bushes 20 to 60 centimeters, 8 to 20 inches tall, while pole or running varieties form vines 2 to 3 meters or 7 to 10 feet long. Elusine indica, the Indian goosegrass, yard grass, or wire grass, is a species of grass in the family Poaceae. It is a small annual grass distributed throughout the warmer areas of the world to about 50 degrees latitude. It is an invasive species in some areas. Seeds of Elusine indica are edible and are sometimes used as a famine food, but yields are typically low. It is an important weed of cultivated crops, lawns, and golf courses. It thrives in disturbed areas with compacted soils and full sun. Aria vulgaris, otherwise known as the common toad flax, is a perennial plant with short spreading roots, erect to decumbent stems 15 to 90 centimeters, 6 to 35 inches in height. The plant is widespread on root aerial roots, along roads and dunes, and on disturbed and cultivated land. Because the flower is largely closed by its underlip, pollination requires strong insects such as bees or bumblebees. Common vulgare is a perennial herb that grows to a height of about 60 centimeters or 24 inches or more and has a creeping underground rhizome. The largest leaves are at the base of the plants and are 4 to 15 centimeters or 2 to 6 inches long and about 5 centimeters or 2 inches wide. It is a typical grassland perennial wildflower growing in a variety of plant communities including meadows and fields 
under scrub in open canopy forests, and in disturbed areas. Irisatosa, otherwise known as the bristle-pointed iris, is a species of flowering plant in the genus Iris. Irisatosa is one of the hardiest species of irises, but does need a cold dormant period in winter, and so does not do well in warm climates. As a native plant of Alaska, it is extremely cold hardy, able to withstand temperatures well below freezing. Irisatosa can be propagated by seed. Gyalardia pucella, or the Indian blanket flower, is a North American species of short-lived perennial or annual flowering plants in the sunflower family. The Indian blanket flower is a hardy plant that is not particularly picky about soil. It has a high drought tolerance and does best with a dry, hot climate and full sun. Its vibrantly colored flowers can be seen carpeting fields and the sides of highways for miles in the summer to late fall. Favored by honeybees, it produces a dark reddish amber, buttery tasting honey. Achalesia canadensis, the Canadian or Canada columbine, eastern red columbine, or wild columbine, is a species of flowering plant in the buttercup family, Ranuncalaceae. It is an herbaceous perennial native to woodland and rocky slopes in eastern North America, prized for its red and yellow flowers. The plant is 15 to 90 centimeters, or 6 to 35 inches tall. The fern-like leaves are lobed in groups in threes growing from the base and off the flowering stems. Brassica oleracea is a plant species that includes many common cultivars such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, brussels sprouts, collard greens, and savoy cabbage. In its uncultivated form, it is called wild cabbage and is native to coastal southern and western Europe. Brassica oleracea has become established as an important human food crop plant used because of its large food reserves, which are stored over the winter in its leaves. Drosera rotundifolia, or the common sundew, is a carnivorous species of flowering plant that grows in bogs, marshes, and fens. It is one of the most widespread sundew species. The leaves of the common sundew are arranged in a basal rosette. The plant feeds on insects, which are attracted to the glistening drops of mucilage, loaded with a sugary substance covering its leaves. It has evolved this carnivorous behavior in response to its habitat, which is usually poor in nutrients or is so acidic that nutrient availability is severely decreased. Digitalis purpurea, or the common foxglove, is a poisonous species of flowering plant. The plant is a popular garden subject with many cultivars available. Digitalis purpurea is a herbaceous biennial or short-lived perennial plant. The leaves are spirally arranged, simple, 10 to 35 centimeters or 4 to 14 inches long, and 5 to 12 centimeters or 2 to 5 inches broad. Zia maize, otherwise known as corn, is a cereal grain first domesticated by indigenous peoples in southern Mexico around 10,000 years ago. The leafy stalk of the plant produces tassels and separate ovuliferous inflorescences called ears, though when fertilized yield kernels or seeds, which are fruits. Pomegranate, Punica granatum, is a fruit-bearing deciduous shrub in the family Lythersiae. A shrub or small tree growing 5 to 10 meters, or 16 to 33 feet in height, the pomegranate has multiple spiny branches and is a long-lived plant. Pomegranates are planted and thrive best in drier Mediterranean climate. Pomegranatum aestivum, also known as common wheat or bread wheat, is a cultivated wheat species. About 95% of wheat produced worldwide is bread wheat. It is the most widely grown of all crops in the cereal with the highest monetary yield. Apos domestica, or otherwise known as the apple tree, are cultivated worldwide and is the most widely grown species in the genus Malus. The apple is a deciduous tree, generally standing 2 to 4.5 meters or 6 to 15 feet tall, in cultivation and up to 9 meters or 30 feet in the wild. Mintha, also known as mint, is a genus of plants in the family Lamiaceae. The exact distinction between species is unclear. It is estimated that 13 to 24 species of mentha exist. Hybridization occurs naturally where some species' reigns overlap. Many hybrids and cultivars are known. The species that make up the genus mentha are widely distributed and can be found in many environments. Most grow best in wet environments and moist soils. Mints will typically grow 10 to 120 centimeters or 4 to 48 inches tall and spread over an intermediate area. Pepper nigrum, or black pepper, is a flowering vine in the family Paparaceae. 
Peppers are cultivated for their fruit, known as peppercorns, which is usually dried and used as a spice or seasoning. The fruit is a droop, which is about five millimeters in diameter, dark red, and contains a stone which encloses a single pepper seed. Zingiber officinale is a flowering plant whose rhizome, ginger root or ginger, is widely used as a spice in folk medicine. It is an herbaceous perennial which grows annual pseudostems, false stems made of the rolled bases of leaves, about one meter tall, bearing narrow leaf blades. It can be grown in a variety of soil types, but does best in soil that is rich in organic matter. Capsicum is a genus of flowering plants in the nightshade family Solanaceae. Ideal growing conditions for peppers include a sunny position with warm, loamy soil that is moist but not waterlogged. Capsicum consists of 20 to 27 species, five of which are domesticated. Capsicum anum, Cascum picatum, Cascum chinensi, Cascum frutense, and Cascum pubescens. Many species of the Capsicum genus were brought to pariahs. This thymus contains about 350 species of aromatic, perennial, herbaceous plants and subshrubs to 40 centimeters tall. Stems tend to be narrow or even wiry. Leaves are evergreen in most species, arranged in opposite pairs, oval, entire, and small, 4 to 20 millimeters long, and usually aromatic. Several species of the genus are cultivated as culinary herbs or ornamentals, when they are also called thyme after its best known species, Thymus vulgaris, or common thyme. Oregonum is a genus of herbaceous perennials and subshrubs. The plant has strongly aromatic leaves and abundant tubular flowers with long-lasting colored bracts. The genus includes the most important group of culinary herbs, marjoram, oregonum majorana, and oregano, oregonum vulgare. Allium sodium, or garlic, is a species of bulbous flowering plant in the genus Allium. Its close relatives include the onion, shallot, leek, chive, Welsh onion, and Chinese onion. Allium sadium is a perennial flowering plant growing from a bulb. It has a tall, erect flowering stem that grows up to a meter or three feet. The leaf blade is flat, linear, solid, and approximately 1.25 to 2.5 centimeters, half an inch to an inch wide, with an acute apex. Tomato is the edible berry of the plant Solanum lycopsericum, commonly known as the tomato plant. Numerous varieties of the tomato plant are widely grown in temperate climates across the world. Tomato plants are vines, typically growing 180 centimeters or six feet or more above the ground if supported, although erect bush varieties have been bred, generally 100 centimeters or three foot three inches tall or shorter. Intermediate types are tender perennials, dying annually in temperate climates, they are originally native to tropical highlands, although they can live up to three years in the greenhouse in some cases. Potato is a starchy tuber of the plant Solanum tuberosum and is a root vegetable native to the Americas. The plant is a perennial in the nightshade family Solanaceae. Potato plants are herbaceous perennials that grow about 60 centimeters or 24 inches high, depending on variety, with the leaves dying back after flowering, fruiting, and tuber formation. After flowering, potato plants produce small green fruits that resemble green cherry tomatoes, each containing about 300 seeds. Like all parts of the plant except the tubers, the fruit contain the toxic alkaloid solanine and are therefore unsuitable for human consumption. The Rosa genus contains all the 300 plus species and thousands of cultivars of roses. They form a group of plants that can be erect shrubs or climbing vines, with stems that are often armed with sharp prickles. Their flowers vary in size and shape and are usually large and showy, in colors ranging from white to yellow to red. Species, cultivars, and hybrids are all widely known for their beauty and often are fragrant. Roses have acquired cultural significance in many societies. Rose plants range in size from compact, miniature roses to climbers that can reach 7 meters in height. Mangifera indica, commonly known as mango, is a species of flowering plant in the family Anacardiaceae. It is a large fruit tree capable of growing to a height of 30 meters or 100 feet. The mango is an irregular, egg-shaped fruit, which is a fleshy droop. Mangoes are typically 8 to 12 centimeters, 3 to 5 inches long, with greenish-yellow in color. The fruits can be round, oval, heart, or kidney-shaped. Mango fruits are green and they are unripe. 
Mango trees thrive in warm climates, being native to India and Southeast Asia. Oriza sativa, commonly known as Asian rice, is the plant species most commonly referred to in English as rice. It is the type of farmed rice whose cultivars are most common globally. Rice, a monocot, is normally grown as an annual plant, although in tropical areas it can survive as a perennial and can produce a ratoon crop for up to 30 years. However, rice can be grown particularly anywhere, even on a steep hill or mountain area. Citrus is the genus of flowering trees and shrubs in the rue family, Rutaceae. Plants in this genus produce citrus fruits, including important crops such as oranges, lemons, grapefruits, pomelos, and limes. These plants are large shrubs or small to moderate sized trees, reaching 5 to 15 meters or 16 to 49 feet tall, with spiny shoots and alternatively arranged evergreen leaves. Amanita caesarea, commonly known as Caesar's mushroom, is a delectable edible fungus native to southern Europe and North Africa. Although it is edible, the Caesar's mushroom is closely related to the psychoactive fly agaric and to the deadly poisonous death cap in Destroying Angels. This mushroom has an orange-red cap, initially hemispherical before convex and finally flat. The surface is smooth and margin striated and can reach 15 centimeters or 6 inches, or rarely 20 centimeters or 8 inches in diameter. Herodus ostriatus, or the oyster mushroom, is a common edible mushroom. The mushroom has a broad fan or oyster-shaped cap spanning 2 to 30 centimeters, or 1 to 11 inches. The natural specimens range from white to gray or dark brown. Chlorotus ostriatus is a carnivorous fungus, preying on nematodes by using a calcium-dependent toxin that paralyzes the prey within minutes of contact. Clitocybe nuda, commonly known as the wood bluet, is an edible mushroom native to Europe and North America. It is found in both coniferous and deciduous woodlands. It is a fairly distinctive mushroom that is widely eaten, although there is some caution about its edibility. Wood bluets can be easily distinguished by their odor, as well as by their spore print, which is white to pale pink. Hydenum repandum, commonly known as the hedgehog mushroom, is a basidiomycete fungus of the family Hydnaceae. The fungus produces fruit bodies, or mushrooms, that are characterized by their spore-bearing structures in the form of spines rather than gills, which hang down from the underside of the cap. The cap is dry, colored yellow to light orange to brown, it often develops in a regular shape, especially when it has grown closely crowded with adjacent fruit bodies. Morcella, or the true morels, is a genus of edible sac fungi. These distinctive fungi have a honeycomb appearance due to the network of ridges and pits connecting their caps. Due to difficulties in cultivation, commercial harvesting of wild morels has become a multi-million dollar industry in the temperate northern hemisphere. Due to this cost and profit in cultivation, numerous species from Marcella were brought to Piraeus. Cabovista is a fungal genus containing the single species Cabovista subsculpta, commonly known as the sculptured puffball. It is a common puffball of the Rocky Mountains and Pacific Coast ranges of Western North America. The puffball is more or less round with a diameter of up to 15 centimeters or six inches and becoming white or brownish in age covered with shallow pyramid-shaped plates or scales. It fruits singly or in groups along roads and in open woods at high elevations. Auricularia auricula judae, which has the common English name jelly ear, but is also known as Judas's ear, is a fungus that can be found throughout the year in Europe. The jelly ear normally grows on wood of broadleaf leaves and shrubs. It is edible, but not widely consumed. Serpula lacrimans is one of the fungi that cause damage to timber referred to as dry rot. It belongs to the order Bolitales. The Serpula lacrimans has the ability to rapidly colonize sites through unique and highly specialized mycelium, which also leads to greater degradation rates of wood cellulose. Armillaria is a genus of fungi that includes the Armoralia malea species known as honey fungi that live on trees and woody shrubs. Armillarias are long-lived and form the longest living fungi in the world. Some species of armorilia display bioluminescence, resulting in a phenomenon known as foxfire. Phaleolus chivinitiae, 
commonly known as velvet top fungus, is a fungal plant pathogen that causes butt rot on conifers such as Douglas fir, spruce, fir, hemlock, pine, and larch. The effect, impact, and significance of infection by this fungus is rooted in the fact that it causes brown rot, which degrades the cellulose. Thus, there is a loss of tensile strength which leads to brittle fracture near the stem base, even at fairly early stage of decay. Lentinella iodotes, commonly known as the shiitake, is an edible mushroom native to East Asia, which is now cultivated and consumed across the globe. It is considered a medicinal mushroom in some forms of traditional medicine. Phanerocheti is a genus of crust fungi, and species of this genus have membranous, crust-like fruit bodies. Phanerocheti includes white rot fungi that are able to degrade the woody polymer lignin in trees into carbon dioxide. Tremedes versicolor, or the turkey tail, is a common polypore mushroom found throughout the world. Meaning of several colors, versicolor reliably describes this fungus that displays a variety of colors. The flesh itself is 1-3 to three millimeters thick and has a leathery texture. It commonly grows in tiled layers or in groups or rows on logs and stumps of deciduous trees, and is especially common in North America. Pycnopora cinnabarinus, also known as the cinnabar polypore, is a saprophytic white rot decomposer. Its fruit body is a bright orange shelf fungus. It is common in many areas and is widely distributed throughout the world. It is inedible as it produces cinnabarinic acid to protect itself from bacteria. Amanita muscaria, commonly known as the fly agaric, is native throughout the temperate and boreal regions of the northern hemisphere. This fungus is a symbiont with pine and birch plantations. It associates with various deciduous and coniferous trees. Although poisonous, death due to poisoning from Amanita muscaria ingestion is quite rare. Copernopsis atramentaria, commonly known as the common ink cap or inky cap, is an edible mushroom found in Europe and North America. Clumps of mushrooms arise after rain from spring to autumn, commonly in urban and disturbed habitats such as vacant lawns and lawns as well as in grassy areas. The gray-brown cap is initially bell-shaped before opening, after which it flattens and disintegrates. The flesh is thin and the taste is mild. It can be eaten, but is poisonous when consumed with alcohol. Cladonia rangiferina, also known as reindeer cup lichen, reindeer lichen, or gray reindeer lichen, is a light-colored fruticose cup lichen species in the family Cladonaceae. It grows in both hot and cold climates in well-drained, open environments. Found primarily in areas of alpine tundra, it is extremely cold-hardy. Despite their appearance, reindeer cup lichens are not moss. In fact, they aren't even plants. Lichens belong to the fungi kingdom. Tuber is a genus in the Tuberaceae family of fungi, with estimated molecular dating to the end of the Jurassic period. It includes several species of truffles that are highly valued as delicacies. This widespread genus contains 86 species, many of which were brought to Parias. Hydnellum pecchii is a fungus in the genus Hydnellum of the family Bancaraceae. It is a hydnoid species producing spores on the surface of vertical spines or tooth-like projections that hang from the undersurface of the fruit bodies. Hydnellum pecchii is a mycorrhizal species and moves mutually beneficial relationships with a variety of coniferous trees growing on the ground singly, scattered, or in fused masses. Young, moist fruit bodies can bleed bright wet Galatian droplets that contain a pigment known to have anticoagulant properties. Boletus adulus is a basidiomycete fungus and the type species of the genus Boletus. The fungus grows in deciduous and coniferous forests and tree plantations, forming symbiotic ectomycorrhizal associations with living trees by enveloping the tree's underground roots with sheaths of fungal tissue. The fungus produces spore-bearing fruit bodies above ground in summer and autumn. The fruit body has a large brown cap which on association can reach 30 centimeters or 12 inches, rarely 40 centimeters or 16 inches in diameter, and weighing around 3 kilograms or 6 pounds 10 ounces in weight. Phallus industiatus, commonly called the bamboo mushroom, is a fungus in the stinkhorn family. It thrives in tropical conditions where it grows in woodlands and gardens in rich soil and well-rotted woody material. Mature fruit bodies are up to 25 centimeters or 10 inches tall, with a conical to bell-shaped cap that is 1.5 to 4, or half an inch to an inch and a half inches wide. 
The cap is covered with a greenish-brown spore-containing slime, which attracts flies and other insects that eat the spores and disperse them. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Parias is an ambitious project with goals to describe how evolution would affect the life forms abandoned on another planet. The next video on the animals of Parias will be in the description and in the pinned comments when it is released. If you want updates on how Parias is going behind the scenes, join the Discord server, the link to which is on screen, in the description, and in the pinned comment. See y'all soon, and have a great day.